and she's in Las Vegas soaking up the accolades there. Um, Kath? I just want to thank you guys. Okay, let me hand. just want to thank you guys for coming out today and thank these guys for playing. And he was actually in there trying to move his lips and sing God Bless America along because, of course, you all know how he loves to sing. But I want to thank the city of Chicago, the Bears fans, the Hall of Fame. This is really... We waited for this a very long time. Long overdue. And I'm just... It's, it's amazing that he gets to be a part of it. That's that's just all we wanted was for him to know that he was going to be in the Hall of Fame and, you know, live there for eternity. So thank you all so very much. We're really, really proud. He's my hero and always has been. So yeah. thank you. And this is Lori DeMacos. Lori is one of my best friends and like a sister to Steve as well. Um, and we were the first people he told that he had ALS. Um, and we gathered the troops. He called us Mongo's Angels. Yep. And uh, we're missing one, Liz Nicholson. Yes, not Lizzie's here not here. But um, we helped raised a lot of money through GoFundMe and supporters of ours and friends of Steve, and we're able to buy this house for him, um, put in the pool and his exercise equipment, and um, and for nursing care, care and nursing care. So it's been a true labor of love for us. Yep. Yeah. And. It's just been amazing. Um, and the outpouring of support from the Bears fans has been overwhelming. I think that's... We and wanna give, we want to give a shout out to, to the Team Bears. Mongo. Yeah, to the Bears fans and to the Chicago Bears for everything that they've done for us, yes, for, for the, the McCaskey. The McCaskey, the McCaskey the family has been amazing. The van, the wheelchair that they provided for Steve. They've just... The they've, bed, his bed. Yeah, his bed. He has a... He has, yeah, he's coming up. His, yeah. his bed came from Northwestern Hospital and it goes side to side which is very rare I mean most of the time they just you know go and you have to flip him on his side and so that's really helped with keeping him from having any type of pressure wounds and taking the pressure off you know off his body since he's not able to move so that thank you to the McCaskies for that yeah so a big thank to the uh, thank you to the McCaskies to the Bears organization and mostly to all the Bears fans yeah, that just adore Bears him fans. and uh, they're the reason that he's in this Hall of Fame we started it and they carried the water so we're really we're really proud of that, and we're proud of all the Bears fans, and and we know they're loyal, right? <laughs> no matter sure. what, they show up at Soldier Field, so and they showed up for Steve for the last three years. Yeah, so we're super grateful. And uh, thanks to everybody. And the Emerald Society, we can't thank you enough. Yeah, thank it was one text, and look how many showed up. Got yeah. some time off, and uh, it's just it's just overwhelming. Um, listen. We almost lost him a few months ago. He had sepsis and pneumonia on top of ALS. Who else could do that? He, he waited for the, he waited for, <laughs> he waited for yesterday. And hopefully he's going to be here in August. So we're going, he, to Canton. we're going to Canton. We're going to Canton. Yep. So thanks. Do you guys have any questions? Is it your understanding that the Bears have offered if he's able to go to Canton to, to help facilitate that? Yes, they have said that the medical plane, whatever it takes, if he wants to go, and he right now wants to go, he says he wants to go, so and he wants to be on the stage, and so we're all in. However we got to do it, we're going. Yeah. I wonder if you could speak to, what do you think this means to Steve, and then to the family? What does this mean to you guys? Uh, to Steve, prop everything. I mean, I, I mean, if you've read his book, he talks about when he was five years old, before, way before I was born, living in Houston and watching the Astrodome being built and saying, one day I'm going to play there. And, you know, that's one of the things that I tell him. Who gets to say in their lifetime that they had a dream as a child and it came true, that he was going to play professional football and win a Super Bowl? So I would tell people when it, we went to the Super Bowl, the family, my family, our family, it, it was fun after they won up until they won because if we all knew what it meant to him and if they lost we know how we're not good losers <laughs> so you know it's going to be like this is not going to be a good day but they won and it was awesome but meaning this is all he's ever wanted what about to you um oh, you know i said last night i was there not that i really remember because i was five years old the first day he played football when he was 11 and i was there the last day he played football and that was the packers against the cowboys in dallas um, it's, he's my hero. 
you know, he's always taken care of me. He's the most, he's the kindest, sweetest person that you could ever meet. My, my, you know, the, the sad part is my parents aren't alive to see this. You know, I told him yesterday, I said, mother's up there screaming because if you were into any of the games, she always, when he would tackle, that's my baby, <laughs> you know, so it's, yeah. it's the most amazing feeling in the whole world to know that he's in and to know that he knows it and that he deserves it. So, Stephanie it's, or Kathy, could you guys kind of um, tell us a little bit about when he got the call? I know Richard Dent made the call and Misty took the call. Can you kind of tell us um, about that and then his initial reaction when you guys found out earlier this week? Go ahead. Well, <laughs> um, I wasn't here yeah. when 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 Richard called, but I know he he was extremely excited. And at the at, at, at I believe it was videoed, and I think it'll be on the, the show that they're going to do about knock on the door or something like that. But he was excited, and of course Misty called us all, and we all got to talk to him and cry, and, and it's it's, yeah. it's just amazing. It's you know it's we're so excited because we were close close and just you know the, the it's that you know not knowing if it's and if it didn't happen what the whole letdown of that would be but it did and that's all that's all we're we're glad for that and you know positive for that <clears throat> my sister was here but she had to fly back last night she didn't get and she was stuck in the airport so she had to watch her iPad to see it on TV <laughs> and then our oldest brother couldn't come but but other than that yeah we'll all be in Canton so yeah we'll be in Oh, it's amazing. I mean, you know, I, I, I said, I said, Chicago's my favorite city and always has been because all I have ever had to do is come to Chicago. And when I say, oh, my name's Kathy McMichael, it's like, are you his Mongo sister? Can I have your autograph? Can I have your picture? We, let, let us comp your tab. I'm like, I love Chicago. <laughs> he did a pep rally um, probably about, I don't know, maybe 12 years ago downtown at the, um, oh, I can't, it has the red the sculpture, I can't think of it, Daily Plaza, Daily Plaza. Plaza, and people were lined up everywhere, and they were asking for my autograph, I said, I feel like a movie star when I'm with you, I love it, so, yeah, it's, it's awesome, I've, you know, I've been, to, I've been there since day one, and loved him when he was playing high, I was telling him yesterday, it feels like it was yesterday that we were traveling all over South Texas to watch him play high school football, and I, when I was young, I was like, why do we have to go, because he's going to win, can I just stay home, you know, so, it's incredible. He's, like I said, to be able to watch someone and be able to call him my brother and, you know, how many people in, that in their lifetime ever get to have someone like that in their life that incredible as he is. And, and I told the doctor two years ago when the doctor said he probably won't live maybe six months, I said, you don't know him. His DNA is different. Get ready. <laughs> He's not going anywhere anytime soon. And I don't, I don't think he is. Talk a little bit about what last night was like with the group around. Oh, it was great. There was probably about 60 people here, um, 12 player, 12 former player, or the guys that played with him, uh, Brian McCaskey, you're going to have to help me with this, uh, oh, Matt Simeon, um, and the, there was, let's see, Gary Finsick was here, Jim Osborne, Bruce Heron, Matt Suey, Matt Suey <laughs> Jim Morrissey, Tyrone Banks, who went from Florida, Chris, Keys. Tyrone Keys. Ke Tyrone Keys, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Chris, Chris Haynes, Chris Haynes, and I'm probably forgetting somebody. There was one of the trainers, Gary. Oh, nice. Um, but actually, that brings something up. We'd be remiss if we didn't thank Dan Hampton. Yes. He has. Oh yes, yes, yes. Dan yes. has been Steve's brother since they played um, their playing days, but he has been so amazing. Right. And Jimbo Covert, they helped when we needed help to get the house refitted all of that. Um, Dan um, is in Florida, so, but he's, he's just been an amazing friend. So actually Dan sent me a, 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 a picture of his license plates for his, I don't know if I should say this out loud, but I'm going to, on his Florida <laughs> plates and it says Prey 76 and he said he didn't pick them. Then I'll say, I'll say this about, about Dan and I remember this from when Dan was inducted into the Hall of Fame and this is, you know, how I feel because of course called Steve to me you know he ended his speech with there was a moment in time when me and I were the best in the world and I truly believe that I think he's the best in the world he's the best that defensive tackle there's ever been so he was also the best kicker in college so <laughs> <laughs> that's right hook them horns exactly hook them horns okay, uh, okay. Could, thank could you
I'm not a pipe major. Well, actually, Cunningham, come here. Steve, <laughs> Steve <laughs> borrowed Cunning Brian Cunningham's uniform. Didn't want to give back his kilt. When after 9/11, we were going around with everybody to raise money for 9/11. Right. Uh, yeah, we had done a for 9/11. He was tremendous for us. We raised a lot of money for New York. Uh, and actually, I didn't want that kilt back after he wore it. But so, <laughs> <laughs> like, no. well, I do got a funny story. We were at a we were at an establishment, and we were there for quite a while. And he let me wear his Super Bowl ring, and we were there for probably three, four hours. And he was leaving, and I still had that ring on. And the thought of me was like, <laughs> and I grabbed my Steve. You, you got to take your ring back. He goes, Oh, you could keep it a couple of days. I'm like, Oh, absolutely not. I'm not going to keep it. But I wore that thing all day, you know, in the bar, and I showed everybody. Look at this. Look at this. So, I mean, he's just got a heart of gold. I love the guy. Uh, he's been a tremendous supporter for us, the Emerald Society. He's been a tremendous supporter for police and first responders. Uh, and he's just a great guy. So I'm happy you're all here to celebrate him, too. It's not Thank every you. day uh, pipes and drums are in the backyard of a home. Uh, no. What do you think uh, all the neighbors are thinking about it? And what, do you hope, what do you hope they take from that? Yeah, I hope they see that the support that he has given to us, we return in, in favor, um, and that we're all here together. Uh, I talked to some of the neighbors. I said, this happen every day in your neighborhood? And they're like, absolutely not, but they love it. So we appreciate their support as well. Can you say your name on the tape for us? It's Brian Cunningham. Okay, Brian. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are going to do a reprise for us in a moment here. Yep. We appreciate that. But not Amazing Grace. No, we're going happy. <laughs> we're going happy. And ready. Go for it. on. Pull. Quick. March.
Piper, pipe. Down. Close the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did that when you started talking about the problem. <laughs> Outstanding job, band. Thank you all so very much. Band, just miss. Go up. Go up. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.